If I told you that you could double, triple, or even quadruple your money on a single investment, a lot of you might be thinking, whoa, that sounds a little bit too good to be true, actually, and some alarm bells might ring. So why is it different when it comes to silver? So many people believe and think that this stuff will double, triple, or even quadruple in price very soon. Is silver really just a scam? Hello everybody, Backyard Boy in here. Now over the last five years or so of making videos here on YouTube, I've been pretty critical of silver as an investment. You only have to look at the top performing videos that I've ever done and they're all somewhat negative about silver and all of this naysaying almost from myself about this wonderful metal that we all love. And I do that for a very specific reason because as with everything in this world, there is no such thing as a free lunch, as an easy win. And unfortunately, the world has progressed more and more down towards this desire, this need, this almost, it has to be that quick and easy win, otherwise it's just not worth it. And unfortunately, silver is very much in that category of, it's gonna go big, it's gonna go mad, get it now before it's too late. And that unfortunately is something that I pretty strongly disagree with. Now, I love silver and I always have. There is no doubt that there's some hypocrisy going on here. A lot of you are saying, you know, I, I am basically saying that silver is bad. Silver is not a great thing to buy, but yet I have a lot of silver and I continue to buy silver as well. I have talked at length about the different long-term benefits of stacking silver, but I do want to talk about the short term in today's video in a sort of slightly different light. I was listening to a really interesting radio broadcast the other day about uh, an unfortunate gentleman here in the United Kingdom who had uh, had lost half a million pounds to essentially what turned out to be a Bitcoin investment scam. And, um, you know, he basically said that, you know, he's an educated chap, he runs, he runs his own business, and he's got loads of different uh, fingers, loads of different pies when it comes to finances, generally very good with his money. But he got sucked in, he got sucked in so hard and fast by this lure, this potential for quick turnaround profits, that he lost sight of the fact that what he was investing in was even arguably not real, it was a complete scam. And even if it wasn't a complete scam, it would have been something that's potentially highly risky and also likely to lose all that cash. And, you know, that got me really kind of thinking about um, silver because you hear all of these incredible things. And we've, it's not the first time we've ever talked about the fact that there's all of these pumpers out there that talk about the wonders and greatness of silver and how amazing it is. But it's so easy to get sucked into that world and that whole way of thinking. And it's more common now. There are, sad to say it, more vulnerable people out there in this world post-pandemic that are looking for something different. Perhaps they've lost their job, perhaps they've lost their livelihoods, their health insurance or whatever it might be. And they are, for want of a better phrase, up against the wall and are desperate sometimes. And that quick fire, that quick turnaround is very appealing. I mean, I've noticed it here uh, just in the YouTube comment section, you see so many scammers and spammers. I'm sure you've all seen them. We've done whatever we can, whenever we can to combat them. But sadly, there are plenty of other channels, silver related and not, all over the place that just are plagued by these things. And when you get thousands and thousands of spam comments coming on your videos, it can be quite hard to police it. Um, but it's just a sign of the times that there are, sadly, you know, loads of scammers out there. Um, and the same can be applied, I feel, to silver in, in a number of different ways and a different couple uh, of approaches. The first is, of course, our, my old favourite topic, the one which I absolutely hate with a passion, um, is pumping. Uh, basically just, you know, media outlets, personalities, influencers, if you want to put that label on people, um, just spouting off uh, complete and utter garbage, in my opinion, about what the potential for silver has. I agree, there is potential for silver. There is no doubt in my mind that holding this stuff, including gold, holding precious metals, is a long-term yes. It's a great 
diversification tool, but as a means to an end to make you a millionaire, no, 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 just absolute no. Uh, it brings back to this this radio broadcast against this guy. You know, he had some warning signs for himself at the start, talking about, oh, this may be too good to be true. But he fell down the rabbit hole. He started doing his own inverted commas research, and that's the that's the next phrase which I absolutely hate. You know, there are all of these people out there who are self-proclaimed experts. You know, I've made nearly 1,100 videos here on YouTube now, and a lot of the stuff that I do is opinion-based. It's not in any way factual, um, you know, a financial advice. But a lot of people think that once they've just done a little bit of due diligence or research, they then become financial wizards and experts. And, you know, there's a reason why in the past, really, financial advice should only come from qualified financial advisors. What I have done and what I always will do on this channel is talk about the level-headed world that I live in that you know the, the the realist in me always looks at and quite honestly like I said right in the intro of this video if you hear somebody say that you can triple quadruple quintuple your money in a short space of time it's just going to be too good to be true there are no such things in this world as an easy lunch now there are opportunities and times out there where stocks shares even cryptocurrencies and things like that will get massive returns and you'll get hundreds, thousands of percentage points in return. But that's not going to happen to everybody. And that's certainly not likely to happen to everybody either. If it did, or if it was common knowledge that that was the next thing that was going to go, everybody around the world would know about it. The big banks would know about it. First, they would pile thousands and millions and billions into those things if they were a surefire way of making a quick buck at the other end. Uh, so that's you get, you know, that's the first element here that I don't like. You've got the, all these pumpers, these people who are, you know, hyping up silver to be more than it really is. And that's a savings, you know, savings vehicle, ultimately, uh, for the long term. And that's why I invest in silver. It's a diversi diversification tool as well. That's why I invest in gold as well, to have different assets. Silver is more of a uh, kind of a hedge uh, against gold because silver does have a lot of potential for the future but it's not something that I uh, rely on you know in no means is silver the only investment that you or anybody should have and that's as far as I'll ever go with sort of investment advice formal advice I'd say um, two things first don't put all your eggs in one basket and second seek actual qualified financial advice if you want some more information uh, now the next element that I want to talk about which is about scams, about silver being too good to be true, is uh, you get a lot of opportunities now for people to actively scam uh, buyers on the market. So new dealer websites coming up. And yes, there will be new businesses that are set up to supply silver and gold coins and actual legitimate people with legitimate business interests. So you know, it can be a lucrative business for a lot of people who can uh, look to create uh, a market, create a brand and sell to customers. But equally so, there are just as many scam artists out there or people with ill intention uh, that can really take advantage of people. Uh, and when you combine the two of the, you know, the pumping side of things and then the scamming side of things, it's a recipe for absolute calamity and disaster. And uh, I have seen uh, a number of, um, you know, really horrible stories, horror stories out there of people who you know, got the wind of silver, got the wings up them about how great it is and how great it could be and start doing their own inverted commas research uh, about which companies to buy from. They stumble across X, Y and Z and then they realise, hang on, that's quite expensive. Uh, let's see if I can get a better price. And they find Joe Bloggs. It's, you know, it's the same old, same old. If you're buying from the guy with the trench coat down the pub, you're probably not going to be buying things which are legit. And there are people who probably have and probably will continue to get into trouble uh, for just simple actions of not doing their own actual due diligence. And, you know, I, I'm using that phrase. Uh, I don't like that phrase at all. Uh, due diligence for me is is simply understanding that the, the market that you're trying to get into, if it's silver um, or gold, is one which is, you know, important to focus your energies on and make sure you make the right decisions. Um, so when you when I say due diligence, I mean not just who you're going to buy from or what you're going to buy and how much you're going to buy, but the whole package about what is right for you in your situation, your exit strategies, how much you're going to buy over a period of time. Are you going to buy it all in one go? What kind of things are you going to buy? Are you going to buy them for you know future generations or are you going to look to sell them in five years 10 years 100 years you know there are a whole host of different questions that people should ask themselves that's the due diligence that people should do not that they think that silver is going to go to a hundred dollars an ounce or a thousand dollars an ounce because the dollar is going to collapse 
tomorrow. That is, you know, just not likely. Um, now, it's akin in certain ways to some of the big conspiracy theories that have hit uh, over the last sort of 10 years or so. The, the biggest one, which I... Uh, if, if in another life I had caught wind of this and had the volition to do it, I would have very happily made uh, one of these anti-flat earth channels. I would have been the guy that sat on the other end and just debunked everything. And to a certain extent, I like to think that that's part of what I do here on this channel. But for silver, uh, I present the other side of the coin, to coin a phrase. You know, we have got a lot of good things in this world uh, to look forward to if you own silver and gold. But there are a lot of people that think that it is more than it really is. And I just have one parting kind of thought to share with you all on this. If silver and gold were really as amazing as some people would have you believe, and they're going to make you multi-millionaires, then don't you think that it would have caught on a little bit bigger than the community that we're currently in? Even the massive Wall Street silver squeeze movement couldn't get things to take off in the way that they hoped. And that whole... Um, you know, sort of idea that we're going to get this reset, this global currency reset, um, is something that I've been hearing for decades. I remember when I was in America in my late teens, and I uh, I met a chap in a, in a youth hostel, um, proper hippie, proper hippie, and he was spouting off about the dollar going to be collapsing anytime soon. And hey, look, you know, we've been through twenty plus years now since that time, and you know, we haven't seen. The dollar collapse, the dollar's devalued, definitely, and having gold and silver will help you, but, you know, it, it's not collapse. It's not going to collapse anytime soon. Um, if it does, there are bigger things in this world to worry about than how much gold and silver you've got. So that's my parting thoughts on this. I, I guess the, the, the kind of message for the video that I want to uh, leave you with is that uh, there is no such thing as an easy win. There is no such thing as a uh, get-rich-quick scheme those always have caveats and to have an open mind when it comes to the things you hear uh, yes silver is great silver is going to be an incredible thing to have for the future but doing it responsibly is more important than just you know front loading every single penny pound and pence you have into this wonderful metal it's just not likely to happen anytime soon but as i've said on my channel a number of times if i'm wrong i'm wrong and i've got a lovely great big straw hat to eat to prove you all uh, that i'm a man of my word we'll see we'll see uh, now if you've been ice buying some of these 100 gram bars we have got some in stock currently they're the silver forum bars we finished our pre-sale period and they are now on general retail through our website for the best prices. Please do get in touch directly on my email, byb at backyardbullion.com. Any support you can give to our brand. If you've enjoyed our channel and you want to support the channel, then you can buy these bars. And they'll also, certain proceeds of the bars will go to the Silver Forum as well to help support them. So go and check them out on our website. Otherwise, if you have enjoyed this video, please do make sure to hit that thumbs up button. And if you're not subscribed to our channel and you want to see content like this in the future where we just speak, I guess, real world pragmatism, uh, rather than the kind of echo chamber uh, of banging that drum of silver being so amazing, then you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button. Otherwise, we'll see you on the next one. A big thank you to you all for watching. And as always, please make sure that you like, share, comment, and subscribe for more.